Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions, AffordableMedicalUSA.com. Today we're going to do the unboxing video of the brand new Evo Model 613 with the standard batteries, the AGM batteries. Um, and the, right beside me is the Evo with the lithium batteries. So same chair, two different batteries. We'll explain to you the difference. And um, there's a difference in weights. Both of these chairs can be ordered with different seats. Um, you can order it with a lot of different accessories. That's all online. Swing away, cup holders. There's a bunch of stuff you can order. So let's just go into this. It'll come on a pallet. This is the seat. So what, what we're going to do for this video is just take the seat off. This seat's about 40-something pounds. The reason why I'm going to do that, uh, I already got the shroud. This is a blue. There's a, uh, like five or six different colors. But I'm going to do the unboxing because your manual will be in here. Some things you'll need for the seat will be in here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. You can use just a regular pair of scissors. I'm using a box cutter razor blade. Um, out here, serial numbers. Make sure the box is not damaged. This box with the standard batteries, I believe this chair is like... like 189 now it might be less because they're combining the seat with it so let's say about 100 and 140 or something so inside of here it's packaged well they'll either be the shrouds in this unit or it'll come separate i'm not exactly sure how they're shipping them um, but here's the shrouds they came in a separate box but there's a, probably a reason it came to us in a separate box um, so there's two different shrouds, and then you have your connectors for the feet, or the wheels. And all this is very easy to put on. This might give you a tiny bit of trouble, but it's not too bad. So in here, you're going to have your, I they have the U1 batteries. Um, they already have these connected. I'm sure they did like a, a test run on them. Usually these won't be connected, so in the future, you might have to connect these right here. This seat post is adjustable. By loosening it, you can bring it up. I'm not exactly the height you can get to, but it's on the specs. We'll have it on the comments. And then if you back here, there's a little place you can, you would tighten this down so this doesn't move. So, this box right here is up here. I'm just taking it out. I'm gonna open this up really quick. Just be a little careful when you open this stuff. You don't want to cut something. Uh, so inside of here, you'll have your charger. You'll have your joystick. You have speed control. Power, horn, battery indicator light. And we'll, go, we'll show you that in just a minute. But this is your joystick. So put this to the side. The joystick can be put on the right or left. And then you have your charger. Charge it up tonight overnight when you first get it try not to ride it around until you get a full charge on it there's information about the charger in this box and there's lights indications when it's charged and when it's charging and different things so with this unit i'm going to just take these um obviously you can cut the box completely and just roll this thing out but what i'm going to do since i'm unboxing it by myself is i'm going to unstrap this again i already undid that and I'm going to remove these batteries just to limit, to make it a little bit less weight. So they have little U1 batteries in here. We'll give you the specs on the ride time, which we'll get more into it when we get to this. But about 14 miles um, at a 300 pound weight person and about 17 miles with these batteries, 200 pounds. So when we get here, I'm going to lift this up. I would suggest having um, someone help you get this out or cut all four corners of the box. And then at the bottom, you have your manual. You have some zip ties, some Velcros. This is going to help with connect the shroud. And your serial number is also on the manual. So these are little things for the shroud, and this is to help with the, the arms. So we'll just put that to the side and the manual to the side. So that's one thing done. 
We'll move this out of the way. We'll put the batteries back in really quick. Um, so you can move this around. It's already in a free will. I guess they're doing this for protection. So remove those. This is in free will. This is what locks it right here. You push down for free will. You push up to lock it. And there's another one of these on the other side. So I'm going to throw these batteries back in because we're going to put unboxing and assembly video. Doesn't really matter which one you do. And if it does, then just fix it. Like if the cord's longer. Um, let's get these straps to the side. And there's a diagram down in there that tells you if you have to re add these, but I guess they're, um, I'm going to put this one, so it's a little bit longer, over here, and you're just going to connect it, very simple, so they've done a good job, these are large tires, 22 inches in width, right here real quick, this is adjustable in height, foot plate height, so if you're shorter or you're taller, or if you have longer legs, you can adjust this out. This is right here. You need to make sure you keep an eye on this. This is for your joystick. So you're going to want to bring this up, kind of put it there for a minute. And we'll go ahead and connect the shrouds. Um, try to get everything down into this little hole. Oh. Bring these around. Bring these around. Check out our chapters. It kind of, you know, if you don't want to watch this whole video, um, you'll see these little clips. If you don't want to watch the whole video, we have chapters set up um, to kind of let you speed through it. And then we're going to put the front, see the little clip right there, so you're going to come in and down and then those little things that I and then there's a little clip right here you can see that's where you want to kind of put that there so just leave that there for now and this is really pretty I think this is the I forgot what colors there's obviously blue there's two different colored blues so you're going to want to kind of push this a little bit seems like that's what you have to do with these and you can Tighten them down with your fingers, and if you want to um, tighten them down a little bit more, um, you can use a little flathead screwdriver. So we're just going to do it with our thumbs. You need to really think about if this is um, if you're going to be traveling on an airplane. You probably want to go with this model with the standard batteries because the lithium or the lithium batteries might be too large for traveling. These just clip right on, so you'll see the design. You're just gonna pop it right in. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. Just pop it right in. So that's all done. I like to save these bags, recycling them. So now we're going to go ahead and put the seat on real quick. So just be careful cutting this again. You don't want to cut the seat. They've, re they've improved this seat. I think they have a different type of fabric on it, but I know that they have a waterproof seam line. It doesn't, so some people are like, what does that mean? Well, someone accidentally goes, urinates in the chair. It doesn't break up the seams and start splitting the the seats apart if you currently have a power chair and that happens you probably know what I'm speaking of or water doesn't get into the foam if you get water on it or if you're getting out the bathtub and stuff so here's your arms these arms have a knob for your joystick and you can make the joystick right or left you can add swing aways and they're adjustable in height and width so the next box in here will be your um, this will connect to the seat, so we're just pulling everything out.
a lot of people call when they watch these videos. If you want us to shoot you a different video, like showing you a certain thing, we'll do it for you. Um, if you want us to do basically whatever video, we we can look at doing whatever. So in between here's your you'll have the seat. So the seat's a little heavy, but not as heavy with the arms off. But I think it's about 40 pounds. It does have a swivel seat. You can adjust the depth right here. This is allows you to adjust it to a 20 depth. Um, this is your swivel and you can move this around if you need to, but there are hookups for um, leg rest if you don't like that or if you need elevated leg rest. You can always add that later. You might not need it right away, but if something happens and you hurt your leg and you need to prop your feet up, you can add elevated leg rest. It's going to come stock with a seat belt. It's got a really nice, this really nice fabric feel to it and the, the seam line I was telling you about. So take this and you're basically just going to get it right on there and now it's locked. That's your swivel. and it can stop and then you can have a little bit of a recline back and forth over here. So we need a headrest. Just pull all this off. This brand new Evo by Pride Mobility just came out. It comes in two different batteries. A lithium battery that's really lightweight, helps you maintain charges faster and then you have your standard batteries. And so I'm in a free will. So let me turn this around a little bit. You'll see these two holes and you'll see this. This is the top and this is the bottom. So it goes that way. They have a pin that you can go ahead and put that in and find where you want it. Put that pin in. We're going to tighten that down in just a second. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So these are adjustable in width. So if you want the arms out or smaller you can do that so they're a little bit loose right now until you tighten it up you take your arms you're going to want to drop that down and this is the little tool you need to tighten everything up so we're going to tighten this up first, you know, get it to where you like it, and then you come back and tighten it. But for us, we're going to tighten it. So just do that a little bit. You can see how that's wiggling? So you want to tighten it till you don't get that wiggle. And you'll see it kind of come back. And just give it a nice snug tight. So here, just be careful. See how that goes up? You don't want this too low. You want to bring it up just a little bit. And it goes up higher, like you can adjust this. So that's a good feature with this chair. It's height adjustment and width adjustment. And now that moves, so you can come down a little bit lower, maybe. And then I'm gonna leave the other one right now to speed up the video. Joystick, unravel all this. Really quick. Take this, if you're right-handed, and you're going to bring it over here. I like the wires in. And then, see, this can be out or in. So this is, you can move it. This is just a straight pole, but you can get it with a, um, same tool I use for the arms. It's the Pride Mobility Evo, brand new, 613, by Pride Mobility Power Chair. Big chair, narrow. It's a big chair, but the width is narrow compared to some of them. So if you're looking for a narrow chair, but you don't want a small travel, then you can take this and with those zip ties I showed you in that package, you can zip tie it where you want it or that soft. But just remember, if you get in and out, just don't zip tie it too tight. Run this back through here is where I'm coming. And I'm going to try to, and then I have that thing I told you about earlier to keep that out. Clip it right there. So now that chair's done. The only thing we need to do next, and these are adjustable. See how this is leaning down, guys? 
I, that's not tight, but see how this is leaned down a little bit? You can adjust that by just doing this or in. So you can get it more of a 90, but some people want it up, so you can adjust it. We'll get that side later. Circuit breaker, that one's done. So let's talk, and then here's your charger. So you unbox this charger. This one has a different charger than this one because they're different batteries. You would plug this in like so, make sure it's snug. Plug this right into here. There's a three prong. Pull it by this in and out, plug it right into here, and then plug it into the wall. Let it charge up overnight. You're ready to roll the next day. So real quick while we're doing it, this is the, we've already had this charge up. Um, it's the same chair, there's a lot of accessories. Swivel seat, arms flip up, adjust out, and go up in height. This is the power button right here, you can turn it on. Um, you have a speed control, and it's, it turns very well and it drives very good. Um, and then you, know, you can reverse it. So. You know, if you're moving around in the house, um, you can keep it on a slower speed, but this one goes up to 5.1 miles per hour, so it's pretty fast for for a power chair. Um, again, this one has the long, the, the lithium um, battery, um, that charges faster than that one, sustains a power performance, it's lighter weight, uh, more usable energy, and longer life, but the batteries will cost a lot more. So real quick, 13 inch mid wheel drive tires, 13 inches. Um, narrow base width, only 22 inches, 22 inches base weight or width. Now this might be wider and the seat might be bigger, so keep that and remember that. Um, you have the mid wheel six technology and you have the ATX suspension active track system. A lot of accessories to add to it. Um, 300 pound weight capacity, three inch ground clearance, length, overall length with footrest down is 41 inches. Overall length with footrest up is 35 inches. So you still can ride around like this if you need to in certain areas. Uh, so the base is 94 pounds that we took out, removed the batteries. Um, five year limited warranty, 13 month limited on the drivetrain, the electronics, the battery, and on the lithium ion battery, there's a three year warranty. So one thing that could be cool if you're just deciding which one you wanna buy, if you're traveling on an airplane, you're probably gonna need to go with this. If you want something bigger, more comfortable inside the house, this is a great chair. It can go outside, go through the grass, do all that stuff. Um, but then you might like seldom wanna take it somewhere if someone's strong enough to pick it up. With the lithium ion battery, you'll probably like that because you saw how I took the batteries out on that one. Well, when I remove this seat, again, no tools, adjust this. You gotta take this off with your fingers. Make sure you put it somewhere where you don't lose it into there. This comes right off, Just that just helps you. This is the battery one big battery but it's super light there's a handle you can pull this out that's super light that's probably I don't know eight pounds maybe if that um, and then this would be manageable for someone that's strong enough to pick it up and put in the car the other ways of traveling with these is a lift ramps stuff like that but if you have any questions Give us a call, 803-926-2224. Visit us online at, mobile, or at affordablemedicalusa.com.